This is not Raffles Hotel. We are actually at Penang, Malaysia. And this might be better than Raffles. Here's why. It's just too beautiful, too grand for $200. It almost feels too good to be true. There's even a sea view. Cheers. I visited Raffles Hotel in Singapore and yes, it is beautiful too. But in my honest opinion, this hotel in Malaysia is more value for money. So in this video, I'll be talking about the differences between Singapore versus Malaysia. Uh, we are at Isetan right now. And look at how grand this is. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. There's even a bar. It looks so fun here. And look at how the ramen noodles are displayed. Okay, Malaysia Isetan is not only better than Singapore, it's better than Japan. For sure. And check out this area where you can buy your beer, your sake, and I believe you can drink it here. Now we came to the first level. Look at all these like nice clothes and just the interior. It's beautiful. Wifey, what are your thoughts as a Singaporean? I feel like I'm completely in Japan. <laughs> In Japan. Yeah, the products are all very nice. And I think these are like local brands, right? Like they're so nice. Yeah, the designs are all very nice. Yeah. I must also say, Genki Sushi looks... It means uh, a bit more upscale. Here. Yeah, yeah, it feels more atas. There's even a Japanese fruit board called Jade Gate at the top. Look at how upscale and atas this place is. Four years ago, Kuala Lumpur did not have something like this, I believe. It's amazing how developed the city is now. Let's check out the price of this izakaya. Whoa, 25. Yeah, how, how much is that in Singapore? Singapore? $30 for a sub. All right, so my, my wife keep on saying KFC is way better in Malaysia, so I had to try it. Check it out. So we got the new menu. This is the what is it called? Uh, smoky crunch, is it? Smoky crunch something. So this is the whole set. The price I would say is similar to Singapore's. It was 18.49 for this set, which is like six, seven Singapore dollars. Mmm. Softer? Wow. More juicy, right? More juicy. Yeah, I tell you already. Yeah. It's so tender. Yeah, yeah. Look at all the chicken from Malaysia. Right? Yeah, because they get the fresh chicken, right? Yeah, Singapore, uh, we import it from Malaysia <laughs> yeah. and Thailand. So it, mm. it never gets fresh as in Malaysia. Very soft and wow. juicy. One. I tell you already. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know the difference will be so obvious. Wow, this is so amazing. And this is my favorite way of eating KFC. Some mashed potatoes. Sprinkle some coleslaw. Haha, ha, look at that. Mm. Until today, I thought it was a myth that KFC in Malaysia is way better. It turns out, no, it's, it's true. And this is kind of something small, but I noticed, right, the water pressure in Malaysia, all the hotels, very strong water pressure. Check it out. Wow, look at that. You can injure someone with that. <laughs> the water pressure is that strong. And I think it's amazing. In Singapore, I feel like because we don't have much water, some hotels, the water pressure is very weak. Just before trying durian and McDonald's in Malaysia, a short shout out to today's sponsor, Surfshark. Are you receiving scam phone calls and texts recently? These are increasing in Singapore. You must have wondered, how did your phone number get exposed by these scammers? Well, it might be because you are using the public Wi-Fi without connecting to a VPN like Surfshark. Public Wi-Fi's often have very weak security, meaning your important passwords and private information can be stolen relatively easily. So that's why I always connect to Surfshark when using the public Wi-Fi. It helps me mess up my online activity. By using Surfshark, you can also unlock new content library on your favorite streaming platforms like Netflix. For example, you can make Netflix think that you are watching from the United States by connecting to the US server, which results in unlocking shows that are not available in Singapore or other countries. So if you're interested, click the link in the description box below and use my code Odisan to get 85% off and 3 extra months for free. Come on. Huh? 
in Malaysia, it's so difficult to cross a street because, first of all, it takes forever for the green man to show up. I, I'm waiting here for literally like three minutes. It's finally our turn to cross, but look at how quickly. And, and cars are quite aggressive here. <laughs> Traffic and KL is. <laughs> it's a, it's an experience. We were on the taxi for 30 minutes, and it, it was like supposed to be like five minute ride. Guys, today might be our most exciting day because we are finally trying durian in Malaysia for the first time. So we found a place called Durian BB Park. Look at this! It, wow. It's like a durian kampong here. Super exciting. Okay, so all, I know all the great durians are imported from Malaysia and Singapore. It's my first time trying it from the source, you know? So many new types of durian. I never tried a sunset, never heard of it before. And Dato Nina, all Malaysia. All right, so we got this uh, assorted durian. It's like a durian omakase. It's so cool. Uh, for 69 ringgit. So the staff told us to try from the left, then go to the right. So lighter to thicker. Okay, let's try the prime first. Feels a bit hard. Mmm, oh. Mmm. Uh, yeah, the flavor is very light. Next up, the dato nina. Oh, so much better. Strong, sweet. Next up, the golden bun. Oh, this is the best so far. It's getting better and better. <laughs> Next up, EXO. Wow, that's deep and bitter. It really is getting better and better. And I cannot wait to eat the last one, the musangkin. And finally, the O3 Mao Shang Wang. Really the king of durians. <laughs> Incredible how delicious it is, considering it's not seasoned yet. Oh, it looks good. Cheers! So we had to get the entire husk. This is 69 lingit. Yes! Mm. Whoa! Yeah. Fresh water. Oh my gosh, the texture. It's another level. Never had such a sticky durian. This is amazing. Wow, durian in Malaysia, the bomb. So we came to McDonald's at KL. It's inside this uh, mall called the Times Square. It's pretty cool. There's an indoor theme park. I came to McDonald's because some of my viewers told me it's not just KFC that's better than Singapore. McDonald's in Malaysia is apparently really nice. First of all, they have an interesting menu. It's the nasi lemak. I don't never had I imagined having nasi lemak at McDonald's. So this is the sambal sauce. Looks very authentic. Whoa. Looks, looks yeah, looks legit. Huh? So I gotta mix the spicy chicken and the original. Wow, it's so cool. Having rice at McDonald's. Because I got the spicy chicken burger as well. I think I'll start from this. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's supposed to yeah, be similar to McSpicy. Got mayonnaise, lettuce, and chicken. Mmm, wow. Look at how juicy it is. You see the, the oil? For the chicken sauce, it's very soft and tender and juicy. This is legit. But I don't know if it's better than McSpicy. I think I like McSpicy more. It's crispier, but it's good though. I would definitely order this again. And now what I'm here for, the nasi lemak. The egg looks kind of funny, but... <laughs> uh, below we got the cucumbers. I think I'll start from the rice. Because rice is very important in the nasi lemak. Mm, wow, that's very coconutty. Mm, sweet and savory. That's good. <laughs> like I, it makes me want to eat more and more. This is a type of nasi lemak rice I like. Savory, you know, it's salty a bit, and then the coconut fragrance is very strong. I like this type, you know. I'll put some chili over it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the chili is nice. Not too sweet, which I like. Okay, now the chicken. Ayam. Yes, the ayam. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> was so good. So my wife is saying, last time at Singapore, McDonald's also, also had nasi lemak at their limited menu. Wow, they're very good. Very good nasi lemak. I cannot believe this is coming from McDonald's. The fact that they have nasi lemak at their regular menu in Malaysia, that's a, that's a big win, right? eating Korean fried chicken in Malaysia. It's because my wifey got sucked into this shop. Well, my sister said it's the best fried chicken ever. Apparently it's the best fried chicken that's not available in Singapore. Okay, let's see if Malaysia fried chicken is nice or not. Okay, it looks crispy. <laughs> sit up. Really sit up. One dish I fell in love with in Malaysia is nasi kandar. It's just so good. Oh my god, this is amazing. So spicy, so aromatic. I'm not sure if Singapore has this, but I feel like in Malaysia, compared to Singapore, the Muslim, Indian Muslim food, Malay food is in general better in Malaysia. And I think it's because there are more uh, Muslim people living in Malaysia compared to Singapore. Food like this is just so good. Another thing I think Malaysia does better than Singapore is the titale. So nice. Can never go wrong with this. I feel like it's stronger. Room tour of our awesome hotel in Penang. Yeah, I mean, it's really a beautiful hotel. I still cannot believe we got this for like 200 Singapore dollars. Great bed, beautiful working space, beautiful sofa. And the view, guys, is amazing. Check it out. Beautiful view of the Andaman Sea. And right below, we can see the pool. And this is one of the biggest hotel toilets ever. We have two sinks, bathtub, toilet, and the shower. Really a, really a beautiful place. So I'm filming this mini segment because I don't want to end the video like either of the country is better than the other. I think each country has their you know strong points, weak points. Singapore is small. Yes, it's very small, but it's so, so safe. Healthcare and education is also top notch. It's, it's really a miracle. Whereas Malaysia is, is just so big, so diverse. And it has, I think, more options like living a kampong life. It's very difficult in Singapore, but in Malaysia, we have the option. Yeah, so it's very cool being able to live in Singapore and also being able to come to Malaysia whenever I want because it's just so nearby. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I can come back to Malaysia someday again. Bye bye.